Hi, my name is Jamal Sabri of Third Street Jazz, and welcome to my show, Third Street Jazz's Album Reviews. And today we will be reviewing the album Know What I Mean, a 1962 classic that brought together the genius of alto saxophonist Cannonball Adderley and pianist Bill Evans. So sit back, grab some popcorn, and enjoy my show. In the annals of jazz history, there are few albums that have left as indelible a mark as the album Know What I Mean. Released in 1962, this album is a testament to the power of collaboration, bringing together two titans of jazz, alto saxophonist Cannonball Adderley and pianist Bill Evans. Recorded at Bell Sound Studios in New York City on January 27th, February 21st, and March 13th, 1961, the album captures a unique moment in jazz history, blending the ebullient blues and bebop of Adderley with the lyrical sensitivity of Evans. Cannonball Adderley known for his work with Miles Davis including on the seminal album, Kind of Blue, brings his hard bop sensibilities to the album. His playing is both muscular and sensitive, showcasing his ability to navigate complex musical landscapes with ease. On the other hand, Bill Evans, widely considered one of the greatest jazz pianists of all time, brings his unique brand of impressionist harmony to the mix. His inventive interpretation of traditional jazz repertoire and rhythmically independent singing melodic lines provide a perfect counterpoint to Adderley's robust playing. Accompanying Adderley and Evans are Percy Heath on bass and Connie Kay on drums both members of the modern jazz quartet. Heath's richly toned bass lines provide a steady anchor amidst the swirling melodies, while Kay's drumming is a subtle heartbeat, driving the music forward with a gentle insistence. Together, they form the perfect rhythm section. They're playing both prompting and encouraging the other two without ever overshadowing their technique. The album features eight tracks, each a testament to the duo's musical prowess. Waltz for Debbie, an Evans composition named after his young niece, is a lyrical waltz that unfurls with a delicate beauty. Contrast this with Who Cares, a lively Gershwin tune that bristles with energy. Here, Adderley's saxophone soars, his joyful riffs dancing over Evans's robust piano lines. The interplay is electrifying a testament to the duo's musical camaraderie. Other standout tracks include Goodbye, a poignant ballad that showcases the sensitive interplay between Adderley and Evans, and Venice, a soft precise tune with richly toned bass from Heath. Each song on the album is a unique musical journey, showcasing the breadth and depth of Adderley and Evans' musical talents. Upon its release, Know What I Mean was well received for its unique blend of Adderley's ebullience with Evans's lyricism. It is considered a classic set in every regard. The album's mix is spot on, enabling the listener to be center stage in the proceedings. Today, Know What I Mean is viewed as a seminal work in the jazz canon, showcasing the unique chemistry between Adderley and Evans. In conclusion, Know What I Mean is more than just an album, it's a piece of jazz history. From the ebullient blues of Adderley to the lyrical sensitivity of Evans, the album is a masterclass in jazz. Whether you're a longtime jazz fan or new to the genre, Know What I Mean is a must listen. So, Immerse yourself in this timeless classic and let the magic of Adderley and Evans's collaboration wash over you. This is Jamal Sabri of Third Street Jazz, signing off from another episode of Third Street Jazz's album reviews. Until next time, keep the music playing.